going on, Jerome's? It's time for another seven-round Vikings mock draft. It's a beautiful day, beautiful dawn, Sunday, birds are chirping and stuff, and your Vikings have the ammo to move up in the draft and secure the quarterback of the future. Now, we're going to get a little bit complicated here because I think this is a potential outcome. So Washington and New England both have quarterback needs. Maybe they don't trade out. But the Vikings, I feel like, are relatively – I feel like whoever ends up left – from the big four quarterbacks, whether it's McCarthy, May, or Daniels, uh, Williams probably going one-one to the Bears. I think, I feel like the Vikings are fine with. I, I really do. Where May, of course, the McCown connection, Daniels, Scolas, you as well as a dynamic runner, great thrower as well, and then McCarthy with his potential. I mean, I, I feel like the Vikings are fine with any of the big four, right? So now, ideally, they could, you could be able to get up to two or three and find your guy, but that may not happen. So uh, the Vikings contingency, contingency plans. Now, five is actually the worst spot to be in because the Giants could potentially just outbid everyone and just mo move on up, right? But the problem is four with the Cardinals, and we've talked about maybe Arizona doesn't want to move because they don't want to miss out on wide receiver one or tackle one. And dropping down to 11, that could put them on wide receiver four. That could put them on tackle three, uh, somewhere in there. So here's what we're actually going to do. So we're going to trade up to five. Now, five is going to cost more than eleven twenty-three. I, I don't care what the tra trade charts say, uh, but say it's going to be eleven twenty-three uh, and a future third. Actually, let's say a future fourth, not nah, future third. It's probably uh, more applicable. So the Chargers moving on down. They're still in striking distance of adding great tackle, great wide receiver, and they're in a spot too where hell maybe they wouldn't want to move. But I feel like Harbaugh, he wants to rebuild that team in his image. And having even more draft capital could do it. Plus, he could draft all the Michigan guys if he doesn't take J.J. McCarthy. So, now the Vikings are at five. So, now the drop down for the Cardinals is certainly more palatable. So, we're going to do some business uh, with the Cardinals. Uh, so, they can move down from four to five. And since the Vikings are in a quarterback and the top three teams may also be in a quarterback, they could have their choice of wide receiver one or tackle one. So, Chargers, uh, excuse me, Cardinals. And we're actually going to include... Uh, four and a five. Sure. Offer and enhance. Mm. All right. So now let's dive on in. There we go. Going. I just want to take it nice and slow. So Williams one. Jaden Daniels two of the commies. I'm expecting Drake May. There we go. So now we're on the clock. So this is a very plausible situation and it could be the best of both worlds where the Vikings move up. Chargers move down, get some great draft capital. The Vikings, I mean, they, they pay a little cost to move up from four to five. Uh, from five to four, uh, and the Cardinals move down and pick up some draft capital. Monty Osafort, uh, their GM, the pride of Minnesota Morris, I'm sure loves that, and they still still get their guy. So everybody wins in this spot, and now the Vikings, JJ McCarthy, JJ is dynamite. Now I, again, I understand there's some concern. Hey, what what about his stats? Hey, what about his run first offense? Everything is there. Mobility is there. Great, great head on his shoulders. Winner's mentality. Clutch when asked. Uh, you know, big time arm. Uh, you know, he doesn't drop piss missiles like Penix, uh, but certainly is serviceable at all three levels, as well as throwing with accuracy and anticipation. Uh, experience playing under center. All that stuff. All, all of that stuff. Now, is he ready to start right away? Who knows. But you do have Sam Darnold in there as a potential bridge quarterback uh, if you want to roll with him for a hot second. Plus, I mean, say Sam Darnold starts for 2024 and he plays well and then he gets a big time contract somewhere else. Comp pick. Let's go. So, McCarthy, you are a Viking. Uh, shoot. And then speed this up turbo because the Vikings don't draft now for forever. For the last time in forever. But I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. And also, uh, so we got five picks remaining. We want to trade down on a couple of these. All right, so Bucks want to come up. It's going to cost you, Chief. Actually, no. You have anything I want. Yeah. All right, so Javon Baker is there. Eric All, who could fall. Uh, so let's see. Cam Hart is there. I love me some Cam Hart. Elijah Jones underrated. Cooper Beebe. Uh, we always take Beebe, though. So let's swap things up a little bit. All right, McKinley is there, too. All right, so I want to get McKinley. Yeah, but missing out on Cam Hart would be devastating. So Cam Hart, uh, absolute length on the outside. 
big time physical ability. Had himself a great senior bowl. Uh, so he is in that mix. Uh, I think Flores is absolutely going to love and adore him. Uh, now, all right, so, yeah, I believe we missed out on McKinley. So that, that's part of the game. Yeah, McKinley win 127. Uh, so now, Christian Boyd is there. We always take Christian Boyd, though. So, and we're trying to swap things up a little bit. Uh, defensive interiors. Let's take a look. Uh, Logan Lee, Tyler Davis, Miles Murphy, Jordan Jefferson, uh, Dino Might. There you go. Or should we just take Boyd? You just screw it, say screw it. So Christian Boyd definitely rising up. Lower level competition at UNI, but did great at the Shrine Bowl. Uh, can uh, can two gap as well as has some pass rush upside. Right, let's just screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. All right. So we got the nose. We're back to having the meats. Would like to address offensive line. Would, would like to add. All right, so Drake Nugent is there. We always take take Drake Nugent though. Uh, let's see here. Luke McCaffrey. I mean, we just take McCaffrey, just for schnitz and giggles. Would be a fantastic wide receiver three. So we could do that, and then do we just pile drive on offensive line late? Uh, having on Cohen is there. Bortolini is there. Yeah, could certainly do that. Uh, all right, so that's actually what we're gonna do. Going back. Uh, so, oh, Dylan Love is kind of fun too. Mm, mm, mm. Now we'll, we'll we'll try and pick up a. Actually, we got a couple trade offers. Uh, can we move down? You need to calm down. Oh, psh. All right, so that trade would be accepted, but screw your face. You just, just no, straight up no. All right. No, well, well, then we're not moving down. Actually, move down 10 spots. And, all right, so we're moving down 10 spots, and then we pick up a seventh rounder. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, resume and enhance. All right, so McCaffrey went. Happens. Uh, the McCaffrey went. Let's see what we got here. All right, Schrader. Hayden, Solomon Bird, hmm. Brendan Jackson. All right, so Brendan Jackson is sort of similar to. Yeah, well, I, I think that he can play that five tech spot as well as help on the edge. It's a guy that we take in a lot of drafts. Javier Cohen is certainly there. Uh, I got a couple trade offers. Let's see if so. I, I want all of them. All right, so four seventh rounders for a six. Let's do it. All right. Resume and enhance. So, all right. So now we're back up in that ass. We got six seventh round picks. I, I feel like pretty Ricky Spielman yet again. All right. All right. So now let's see who is there. D Dylan McMahon. Oh, all the people will be so pissed if we take it down the NC State center. Ooh, Jalen Green. All right. Uh, Jeff Coates, Cedric, uh, JJ Weaver. All right. I think we're in business here. So we're going to take Eric Hall. Yes, the ACL. But absolute physical freak upside. A true move tight end. It's going to be good to go. Uh, Isaiah Davis. Sorry, we got the hammer. Uh, let's see here. It's your offensive line. Lane Robinson is there. Matt Lee, I feel like, is underrated. Uh, let's check out the tackle. Uh, Jennings, yes. All right, so we're taking Jennings. As well as, so we got three seventh round picks left. Life is good, man. Uh, all right, so linebacker, Trevor Wallace, Have himself a great combine specialist. No, 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 no. Actually, no. Uh, Jalen Green. There we go. Uh, then lastly, we're taking the punter. That's right. That's right. Tory Taylor, the Aussie from Down Under. Feeling good. Feeling good. So, a bit of an homage to pretty Ricky Spielman there at, at the end, where the board was sort of flat, and we're, we're just going to take value, move down, go get our guys. But, uh, yes, the crown jewel up at the top is J.J. McCarthy. Again, I, I fully get the notions like, well, he, he is the least proven of the 
of the quarterbacks in this class. But youth is, is a factor. Upside is a factor. And I, I do think that J.J. McCarthy can grow and show perfectly in what Kevin O'Connell wants to do. I think McCown is going to be a big big influence in this spot too. So uh, it, it's fantastic. And also the Vikings. So we gave up 11-23 uh, future third. Protected that 2025 first-round pick, which is big. Uh, and then uh, did a couple mid-round picks uh, to move up one spot with the Cardinals. Uh, so they get a little premium there and would be willing to deal. Because if the Vikings moved up to five, what's stopping the Giants, who, if they have a hard-on for J.J. McCarthy, from offering multiple ones to go up and move? So there you go. Uh, cornerbacks, uh, Cam Hart uh, in in the fourth round. A length on the outside, can play inside, outside, can play a little bit of safety. Christian Boyd is a nose tackle that I've loved for forever. Uh, I think that he will bring a little bit of a pass rush as well as size and two-gapping ability along the D-line. Eric All, yes, the ACL case, uh, probably going to start out on the pup. But So, yeah, we, we got two uh, Hawkeyes tight ends coming off of ACLs. That's great. Uh, and then the, the, the Pent. Five, five seventh round picks. Isaiah Davis, the hammer from South Dakota State. I think that he would fit in great with Ty Chandler and Aaron Jones. Donovan Jennings uh, is going to be a solid uh, swing tackle pro- prospect. Now, uh, again, yes, it does kind of suck that the Vikings uh, didn't add into your offensive line, but uh, who knows? Maybe we'll sign Reisner now. There you go. Uh, Trevin Wallace, uh, great physical freak linebacker, going to play some good special teams, rise on, uh, uh, rise on up. Jalen Green, uh, I feel like, is an underrated edge, edge rusher prospect. You know, probably is going to have to you know, go practice squad type route, but in terms of uh, upside, uh, I think he, he is there with uh, Andre Carter the second, And then Torrey Taylor, the greatest punter in the history of mankind. So getting him there uh, does make sense. But, again, the crown jewel uh, is J.J. McCarthy. And also, I'm really like Christian Boyd and Cam Hart. And so overall, Quasey cooking yet again. There you go. But uh, that's it. Your thoughts are thoughts. Let us know in the comment section below. You guys are the best. You know what to do. Skull production value.